Okay, let's start answering the mystery exam questions about the sound waves. The first question, pitch depends on which of the following wave properties. So uh, pitch F prime, uh, F prime is determined by F and the frequency of the source. So answer is C. Uh, if frequency of the source increases, so you are going to hear a higher pitch, or frequency of the source decreases, you are going to hear a lower pitch. Uh, second one is one of the following is the application of ultrasonic waves. So remember that the sonic waves are used to take the picture of human body inside human body. So produces the image of object inside the body is the correct answer. So other three are about some other things, especially we will learn in chapter seven about the lasers. Others we will learn in chapter seven about them. But B produces an image of object inside the human body. We are using the ultrasonic sound waves. Question number three. A dolphin in 25 degrees Celsius seawater emits a sound directed towards the bottom of the ocean, 153 meters below. So this is the bottom of the ocean, bottom. And a dolphin, uh, let me draw a dolphin in here. So my dolphin sounds a little different, but let's say it's the dolphin. So dolphin uh, sends a uh, sound. Uh, down to the bottom uh, of the ocean, which is you know, 153 meters. How much time passes before it hears an echo? So it's talking about the echo. So the sound must move down and after that must reflect, echo means reflection. And this sound must travel the same distance back and then in this case, so this dolphin is going to hear sound. That's why sound uh, sent by dolphin travels first 153 meters down and after then up. Once again, 153 meters up. So first down 153 meters, then up 150 meters. So total distance traveled by the sound until it reflects and back and then reaches the dolphin is 153 plus 153. So the total distance traveled by uh, the sound. So it's going to be uh, 306 meters. And if the total distance is that, uh, how much time passes before it hears the echo? Delta T is the question in here. What is T? How long does it take? We know that speed of the, an object, which is moving with constant speed, can be calculated by distance divided by time. And we know that, so T is the question. So time is going to be distance divided by speed of that object. Distance traveled by the sound uh, until it arrives to the dolphin again is 306 meters. Uh, speed of the sound in the air in this watch is 1530 meters per second. So when we divide them, we will find how long does it take for sound to arrive, the uh, reflecting back and arrive the dolphin again. 306 divided by 1000. 530, which is going to be 0.2 seconds. So it takes 0.2 seconds to arrive back uh, to the dolphin again. So 1.1 down, 1.5 up. So total time for the sound to travel and arrive back again, 0.2 seconds. By increase the frequency of the sound, the pitch of the sound. Yeah, frequency and pitch are directly proportional. If you increase the frequency of the source, the so pitch also increases. So pitch of the sound increases. And uh, question five, the region of the longitudinal way in which the dense temperature is at minimum is known as, uh, it's about the uh, uh, sound wave rarefaction rare fraction uh, and so sometimes called stretch region but stretch region is not usually rare fraction generally used for sound waves and uh, next question is question number six 
Should the following views are more effective to produce image object inside the human body? Normally, it's a reverse uh, asked this one, that one, reverse asked sign here. It's asked the uh, definition. It's given the name as definition right here. They gave the definition and gave the name that as the name. So ultrasonic sound waves are used to produce image inside human body. Breaking sound barrier takes place when the speed of the airplane is greater than speed of the sound. Yeah, and more than. So, so then airplane must go faster than sound. Then we can talk about the breaking. This phenomenon is called about breaking sound barrier. Question number eight, which of the following waves move faster through the specified medium? Infrasonic, audible, ultrasonic, because all are sound waves. So sound waves travel, mechanical waves travel at the same speed in the same medium. For that reason, all they have will have the same speed in that specific medium. Question number nine, show the following factors change for a sound source when the pitch of the sounds get louder. If pitch increases, which means frequency must increase. So pitch and frequency are directly proportional. If the frequency of the source increases, pitch detected by the ear also increase. Question number 10, three tuning forks are struck with the three frequencies. One of them is 256, the other one is 440, the third one is 512 hertz. Which of, the, which of the three sound will move faster? Because all are the sound waves, all are mechanical waves, all are traveling in the same medium. So all must have the same speed. All mechanical, mechanical waves moves in the same medium. If you don't change the medium prepared to the type of the medium, so the speed of the mechanical wave in a medium does not change. And question number 11, which of the following waves are longitudinal waves? All sound waves are in a longitudinal. This is infrasonic, yes, sound, audible sound, ultrasonic sound, all are sound. So all of the, these are longitudinal waves. If the frequency of the sound decreases, pitch of sound also decreases, as I said, they are directly proportional. As frequency of the source decreases, pitch of the detected by the human also decreases. Should the following factors change when for a sound source, when the pitch of the sound gets higher? Again, same thing is asked. If pitch increases, which means frequency of the sound also increases. So frequency of the sound also increases. And which it is changing, but the frequency increase, increase also change. Question number 14, the frequency of the infrasonic sound wave is less than 20 hertz. Greater than 20, so it's the ultrasonic, it's ultrasonic. Between this is the audible, audible range. Between this, nothing. So the correct answer is A, correct answer is A. Speed of the sound depends on temperature of the medium. The depend, this depend is more noticeable in gases. In gases, yes, it is more noticeable in gases, less noticeable in solids and liquids. Okay, this is about the first part of the section one, chapter four. Second part is about the Doppler effect. So let's answer the questions about the Doppler effect. The first question, a police car moves at a speed of uh, 90 km per hour and emits a siren of frequency 1000 Hertz. So this is the original frequency F because of the source. This is the uh, police car in here is the source. So it emits the sound. The source is moving at the speed of 40 km, 90 km per hour. So this is the S source. What is the frequency of the sound as detected by standing observer? Frequency of the sound detected means calculate F prime. What is F prime? As the police car approaches, so approaches, if the source and the observer are approaching each other, so pitch increases, that's why F prime will be greater than F. So we know the equation for F prime is F multiplied by V, speed of the sound plus minus V O divided by V plus minus V S. So because the, uh, uh, the observer is at rest, standing observer, standing 
observer means V equals zero. So then you don't need to worry about V, or just clean V all part. Clean it here, just in numerator, we have V, speed of sound, only V. So I know that V F prime is greater than F. To make it greater, so denominator must be less than numerator. So that's why you should subtract to make denominator less than numerator, you should subtract it. So in this case, F prime will be greater than F. So after that, you are going to write the given integral equation and you will find what F prime is. F is 1000 here, it's original frequency. Speed of sound is given 340 divided by speed of 340. Only thing you should convert this 90 kilometer per hour to meter per second. 90 kilometer per hour, every kilometer is 1000 meters. Every hour is 3600 seconds. So you can do this operation and calculate the kilometer per hour, which per second, 90 multiplied by 1000 divided by 3600, which is equal to 25. So this uh, car is the source flowing with a speed of 25 meter per second. So right here, negative 25. So let's calculate it. 1000 is the original frequency multiplied by speed of sound 340 divided by bracket 340 minus 25, which is 315 divided by 315. So it's going to be 1080. It's called 1080. 80 hertz. So choice B is the correct answer. Doppler effect occurs in which of the following? In which of the following? So then sound waves, transverse waves, water waves, all types of waves. So Doppler effect uh, can be observed in all types of waves. Even it, it can be observed in electromagnetic waves. So then in Doppler is the first discovered that uh, universe is expanding by change in the wavelength of the light coming from the stars and all they're shifting to the red. So a bat flying towards the ball emits a chip at 40 kilohertz is the frequency of that could received by the bat. So to, it's flying towards the wall and here is the wall. Here is the bat. That is sending the sound waves and that is first sending sound waves source, but the same bat detects these reflecting waves echo. So we could, you know, it's approaching the source. And here this source in the way back is the wall. On the way back wall is the source. And then the uh, bat is also observable its own sound. Because the approaching to the wall, the bat is approaching to the wall, so then Frequency detected by the bat this time must increase. It must be greater than 40 kilohertz. So greater than 40 kilohertz. A police car at a speed of 24 meters per second moves at a speed of 24 meters per second and emits a sign of 1000 hertz. What frequency of the sound is detected by a standing observer? It's exactly the same as the first problem. So, so you can do that. I am not going to solve it. Uh, first and fourth are the same problem. You are, you are going to get the answer as C. In here it was 180, in here you are going to be 175. Again, approaches, everything is the same. An object, an ob observed change in frequency when there is a relative motion between source wave and the observer is known as Doppler effect. Name of this phenomenon is known as Doppler effect, frequency shift. When a fast car moves away from a standing observer, it soon emits a sound. The pitch of the sound detected by the observer will be lower because it will move away. Low, so lower pitch. Lower pitch. The pitch of the sound and the part park. When it's parked, there is no relative motion. You are going to hear the original frequency, but when you are moving away, pitch drops. So that's what will be less than. Will be less than lower pitch. Will be Less than it's A. A bat flying towards a wall emits a chip of 80 kilohertz. It's exactly the same of the third question. When the bat is approaching, sending there is a wall. The bat is somewhere here, sending the sound reflection, sound reflects back. And after that, this bat detects that reflected sound. In here, wall 
behaves as a source in, on the way back. The bat uh, behaves as a uh, listener or uh, observer because they are relatively approaching each other because the bat is moving towards the wall. So then frequency of the pitch will be greater than 80 kilohertz, greater than 80 kilohertz. A police car moves at a speed of 84.86.4 km per hour. Same question of the fourth. Only number has changed. Uh, so that's why choice is going to be C again. And if one, four, and eight, same way, it's salt, still approaching. Question number nine. Is an observed change in frequency when there's a relative motion between the source of the waves and observer? So uh, it's Doppler effect. Answer of this question is Doppler effect. This is all about the um, solution of the mystery exam questions of chapter one, chapter four, section one.